But she needs to file her stylist. Enough is enough. What the fuck is going on here? I hate it. I literally hate it. Burn that dress immediately. We've got a lot of explaining to do. The Met Gala was last night, and yes, I was very much sat in this bed with frozen Itsu chicken bower buns in a Homer Simpson t-shirt with a coffee stain on, judging the outfit. And that exactly is the reason as to why I need to judge these outfits. I don't know what happened this year. Like, I saw someone say that most of these outfits would get people sent home from RuPaul's Drag Race, and they weren't lying. I think the issue this year is we need a more specific on-point theme. Like, how about next year we just go for condiments? They can come as Perinase, ketchup, garlic mayo. Garlic and herb mayo. There are plenty of options and they really can't like decipher from that. Anyway, with all my knowledge and expertise, which goes as far as one minor in my driving test and the C in English A levels, I'm here to judge you. Emma Chamberlain, I'm so happy she was there. She really deserved that. First of all, the hair and makeup was beautiful. Like she looked good. As for the dress, I like the top half. The skirt is just don't know. There's just something like off with it. But I'm happy for her, she was there, she looked good. Timothy Chalamet. Boy, what the hell? Boy, what the hell? <laughs> like, why did he come dressed as, you know, the little, little chef, which you see on motorway service stations? Why? This isn't a cosplay. This isn't Halloween, baby, that next month. I don't, I'm actually not that mad at the top half, but why is he wearing, like, Fruit of the Loom sweatpants? And Converse to the Met Gala. Co Converse. Socks, it's the this is a sleep paralysis demon, this ankle section. Like, the bottom half of this outfit is really giving me 16-year-old boy who sits and calls people slurs on Call of Duty on the Xbox. Like, I hate it. I literally hate it. Darsha. <laughs> Oh my god, Nina Inhaler. She looked gorgeous. One of my favorites of the night, she looked expensive. She looked elegant. The headpiece, the veil, the train, it was just really stupendous. Is stupendous even a word? If stupendous is not a word, then stick it in the Oxford Dictionary, and if someone is asking for a definition, just stick this Getty image picture next to it. Trust me, baby, they'll get it. Evan Mock. I love my baby Evan Mock, but this was, like, horrendous. Like, actually horrendous. The outfit looks like an iPad kit. Like, he looks like he's about to come and ask me if I have any games on my phone while snot literally dribbles down his chin. And then this mask, I think I made this in year six arts and crafts. At the same time, it's giving me, like, some sort of scary BDSM thing. I just did not like it, and he's so cool. I thought it was gonna be Addison Radio. I'm so tired of y'all. I wish I could just come through the screen and punch. Mm -mm. The internet annoys me so freaking much. Let me tell you right now, if any other person wore this, specifically about the dress, we'll get onto the hair and makeup in a second. If any person wore this dress with the backstory of it matching the theme, everybody would be like, yes, amazing. You think you can find this on Shein, baby? You think you can find this in the five pound and under section on Shein? Because give me the link. Give me the link. The dress looks good. If you saw like videos of her moving in it, it looked absolutely amazing. And whatever she wore, people were gonna hate it, and it's just, like, she did not look bad. Okay, the hair, very much she might ask me where the manager is and shout in my face when I say that the manager is not on duty. Addison, baby, I love you, but you set yourself up. She posted on her story this barrel of Monroe picture. <laughs> I wish she just went full-fledged with that and did, like, the Marilyn hair. I, like, I know she would be in competition with Billy, but, like, it would have been cuter than this, whatever the fuck this hair is. Billie Eilish. Oh! And then I ascend to heaven. <laughs> She looked like an angel. She looked like a little cherub. It was fantastic. It was on theme. It was on point. She looked absolutely unreal. I thought it was like looking so off brand for her. But it suited her so well. She looked absolutely stunning. Sweetie. I was in two minds about Sweetie. Like, I. Is it the best of the night? No. Is it the worst of the night? It gave me very much like pretty little thing new in section. The hair was her best. Like, oh my god, that hair was beautiful. The only thing I will say about Sweetie is she does this sort of like silhouette of the dress on every carpet. And I should probably say something a little different. A little, a little, a little different. Lil Nas X. Now this, this was one of the best. This was one of the best for me. Okay, starting with this first look. This is what I imagine the dressing gowns that come the Shard Hotel rooms are like. Usually the dressing gowns are like a little fluffy and towel roby, but if I'm paying the amount of money that I'm paying for that, baby, that's not just for the view. I'm expecting dressing gowns like this. And yes, if it comes in the room, it comes home with me. If I'm paying for that hotel room, then I'm also paying for all the little things that come in it. The shampoo, the conditioner, the dressing gown, the slippers. I'm taking the light bulb tone. Number two, a little art do deep do This was cool. I really liked it. And then number three, he looked so good, and you can tell he was feeling himself. I thought this was one of my favorites of the night. Megan. Megan, 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 Megan. <laughs> I love her. I love Megan. She needs to fire her stylist. Enough is enough, and I'm putting my foot down. I'm starting a change.org petition to get this going. <sighs>
Like, don't get me wrong, she looks unbelievable. She looks stunning. I love the hair and the makeup. A star, full credit, distinction in hair and beauty, baby, because you deserve that. You deserve that distinction in hair wash. But the dress looks like a Christmas bauble. Come on, baby. Like, you've had the best year of your career. I really, like, expected a bang with this. Next year, Megan. A, you. Be good. Iman. At my funeral, just project this image. Just project it. I don't actually care if my body is in that coffin because my spirit will be if that image is projected onto it. This was, oh my God, like my jaw actually dropped. Like this was beautiful by far the best of the night. Like she looked like she just came straight out of that chicken run film. Like she is running with the chickens. Oh, it's a bloody hell. Like, like I'm hoping the weather in New York's not too windy because one gust of wind and you're off to the trees, babe. I loved it. Not so much I almost shat my pants. I didn't. Just to disclaim any rumors that may go floating about the internet, but almost. Storm Reed, I thought this was so cute. I love Storm Reed. It was giving me very much Rihanna's unapologetic era with the hair. She did a little reveal. It was cute. Like, oh, I don't know. This girl can do no wrong in my eye. She did so cute in your heart. Ew, what the fuck was that? Why am I just so annoyed? Kim Petras. This is so camp, like, I don't know. I feel like I just loved it. I don't know, maybe because it's because I personally spiritually associate with the horse girl tribute. And yeah, fun fact for you all, I was council level horse riding when I was about 10, 11, 12 years old. I broke my arm, I could have gone professional, but I broke my arm. I kind of wish the skirt wasn't so like chaotic, so it was more like a statement with the head, but overall, I mean, it was something. She's given the girls something to talk about. And not Kiai. <laughs> oh my. I think my heart skip, 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 skip. This was like a full course meal. Starter, main, and dessert. And I'm talking like Italian. Like this was a bruschetta, followed by like a nice ravioli, followed by like a creme brulee. Like, oh God. Do we, mama? Barbie Ferreira, Ferreira. I never know how you pronounce her last name, but I love her. This was, oh yeah, oh yeah, woo! Sweet, your partner around her. This was old Hollywood glamour at its finest. Like, oh my gosh. But I will say, it looks very heavy. I'm hoping that my girl Barbie's got some deodorant in that bag. It better not be that aluminium free deodorant. Because I don't care if it's better for you. You stink. It doesn't work. Get some Dove deodorant because I'm telling you, you were wearing the aluminium free deodorant all summer and you stunk of BO, like PU. Oh my god. Just beautiful. Oh, I love this. Nikki Tutorials, this was absolutely stunning. Love, love, love how this was like on theme with the tribute to Marsha P. Johnson. Ah! Oh, I love her. I just want to like wrap her up in a little blanket and save her from the world. Madison Beer, what the fuck? What the actual f I love you. I love you, Madison. I need some sort of point evidence and explanation as to what went on here. Like, oh, even if this was like the VMA, even if this was like to the year 13 yearbook awards, you know, when they say like most likely to become famous, most likely to be successful. She looks like she's straight off the cover of like a next catalog. You know what this dress actually gives me? It gives me the mother of the bride. Give me what a 45 year old woman thinks is fashionable and she's wearing this to her daughter's wedding. Face and hair, beautiful, love that. I can't really fault that, but burn that dress immediately. Frank Ocean, I would love some sort of explanation as to why he was carrying around Maggie Simpson. <laughs> What the fuck is going on here? Like, if you didn't even have that baby, like, I'd be like, is the security guard accidentally stumbled onto the red carpet? Sort of, like, sort this out because I'm scared for Rihanna's health and safety. But it was, you know, it was... At least she was giving us something. <laughs> Megan Fox, she looked bomb. She looked bomb.com. Okay.com. It's okay.com. At the bayang. But yes to the bayang. Like, the bayang was bayanging. I'm probably opinion. I wasn't actually too crazy about the dress. Like, the top half was giving me, like, very much King Kylie 2016. Those tie-up tops that everybody was wearing from Topshop and Pretty Little Thing. I feel like she could have elevated the dress to match her hair and makeup. Lou Dres Leon, I think that's how you pronounce her name, but she's Madonna's daughter. This, surprisingly, was one of my favorite of the night. Like, I even tweeted about this. I loved this because what I have to think is not everyone is a Rihanna and Beyonce of the world. Do you know what I mean? Try and get yourself dressed by designers while you're also competing with Kim, Kylie, Courtney, Beyonce, Rihanna. Fit the theme was paying off share. The outfit looks Starting on her, she looks so cool. It was giving me see you next Tuesday. Frame it and replace it with the Mona Lisa because that bitch has had her time. She needs to go. Give someone else a chance. She's she's such a selfish cow. She's hogging that limelight for so long now. Hayley and Justin Bieber, I'm sick of them. I'm like, I'm really sorry, but I'm sick of them. If they're not gonna if <sighs> the police are coming. The police are coming to fucking arrest Justin and Hayley. So boring! Oh my god! How are you just wearing a plain black dress? You've had two years to prepare for this, and if this is the best you can come up with, then I'm sorry, your invitation should be revoked. Snooze fest! Snoozeville! <sighs>
Dixie D'Amelio. Do you know what? I'm gonna say it. I like this. She looked good. She. I just feel like she understood the assignment. She. It was something more than what the other girls were given. And as I said about Addison, everybody was gonna hate what she was gonna wear in anyway. She. I'm sorry. Like I do not care what you have to say. I think she looked good. Brianna and ASAP Rocky. I'm gonna start with Brianna. I don't care. She looks good. I. I like. I. I I'm. And I'm. I'm trying to not be biased right now, but I think she looks good. I think it's cool. I think the shape of it is so interesting. Her makeup is so good. 10 out of 10. Is it like as iconic or is it as like beautiful as some of her past looks? Obviously not. The fact that her and ASAP Rocky turn up late gives me further to believe the theory that this was literally the duvets from the hotel and they just wrapped it up and they were like, oh no, we gotta go. Oh no, we gotta go. Little staple gun and they're off the way. Like ASAP Rocky literally looked like a weighted blanket. Pretty sure I've seen that on Amazon Prime D. Fantastic options though for both of them for sneaking the snack into the Met Gala. Like I need this for the Odeon Cinema because those Odeon Cinema prices are daylight robbery. I'm on the verge of reporting it to the Metropolitan Police. But if I have Rihanna's outfit, do you know how many bags of Tesco Finest popcorn I could fit in there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a rough guesstimate of 178. Kendall Jenner. This is where I'm stumped. The dress, the accessories, she looks so classy, so stunning, so beautiful. The actual dress itself is one of my favorites of the night, but I've just, she feel like she does this every year. She always comes in sort of, sort of embellished, jeweled sort of gown, and it's just boring now, especially because she is literally Kondal Jenna. She's Kondal Jenna. She could come dressed as whatever, and she's still, oh, it's just boring. And finally, Kim Kardashian. I'm sorry, but I love this. I really like this. And I'm also still not 100% convinced that that is Kim in there. Like, she probably just could not be bothered after cinching her waist in the previous years that she just got some stunt double to go. Either that or she's got a new face loading under there. So she had to quickly like wrap this up. Either way, I still think it's iconic. She could go dress as this and you still know it's Kim Kardashian. You know the silhouette of her body. Like that is so iconic. And to turn up to like the most sought after red carpet of the entire year where everybody's looking for you, everybody's looking for you look like just to come completely covered that's that's a that's a cultural reset like did she look like the death eater from the sims when they come and take your sims away yeah potentially she did but it was it was good i thought it was really cool and that was it one of the worst met galas from was the worst that i've ever reviewed i don't i it was a lot to take in you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys soon for a new video bye